You started? And go. Okay, so we got Survey 2012 freshly installed here with no updates at all. Nothing's happening right now. CPU is at 0%. And this is the same old router advertisement attack that Microsoft says they fixed two days ago. So if I send some normal router advertisements from this machine, I should be able to see the IP addresses here. And you see I do now I have addresses starting CC5F up here on the target. And now if I send the flood, then immediately the mouse won't move. And if we count to 30 seconds, this thing should die a gruesome death. Task manager is not even updating. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Yeah, the mouse won't move. Twenty, one. Two, three, four, five. There we go. So the blue screen of death, this thing is dead. That's it for that one. Just stop it. Okay, so now I've taken this Stuber 2012 and I only put on one update. This one, MS14006, which is the one that came out two days ago that is supposed to patch this uh, IPv6 weakness. So other than that, it's not patched at all. So now I duplicate the same attack. I send some normal router advertisements here, and when you look in the server, it now grows some IPv6 addresses just like it should. And now I send the flood, which kills it in 30 seconds, and you can see down here that it, be, it behaves very differently now. Before these dots moved very slowly because it was having some sort of handshaking or something going back and forth, now it's sort of flooding as if it's not connected. The mouse won't move on the server, and the performance monitor is not updating, and the clock is not updating. This is exactly what the patch did to Windows 7 and Server 2008. It was patched so that the flood freezes it, but the point is, even if you wait 30 seconds, I guess I'll give it another 10 seconds, two, three, four, you can run this, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. You can run this as long as you want. You will never get the blue screen anymore. And as soon as you stop it, it immediately recovers. And here you see one brief burst of high CPU. So that is what the patch does. Now, this is what I thought would happen. I would call this only halfway patched. Because Ubuntu Linux will just sail along as if nothing's happening. You can still freeze a server with this, but you can't give it a blue screen and require resets. So it's still a lot better. So that's what I wanted to show you. Thank you.